So this video, I hope it helps you guys out there if you're making a decision on the M2 Mac. Um, it's right back here and I have it and I'll, I'll explain it during this video. I just wanted to get this information out there. My channel is all about helping people with making great audio and engineering. And actually, shout out to Brian at Sweetwater. I was talking to him and he pretty much, me and him started talking about the new Pro Tools update and and I said, dude, have you heard of the, the M2 uh, processor? And he, he thought I was talking about the M1 at first. He goes, dude, those things are nuts. Like, and I said, yeah, I, I bought one. And I bought it, it just to do basic video editing. I thought it would be like a second computer for me. I could take files and, and take them off my iPhone and share them and then just open them up on that and use, you know, some editing software and be done with it. And I was like, that might be good enough. And I'd have a session going on in the studio. So then I, I started using it and I realized how fast it was. And I just couldn't believe it because this is a computer that the specs say are eight gigs of RAM. Now an eight core, my main studio computer was a 12 core with 60 something gigs of RAM. 64 I think and I, I was just absolutely blown away that it seems that this little m2 is running more efficient and faster with the newest pro tools so this video is about the m2 now I'm not going to get into like the screenshots and stuff I just want you to be able to see the screen this is a artist uh, a band by the name of recess I'm not going to really play um the audio in its entirety because they're still working on this record but i want you to see how many tracks and i went through and i actually i actually went through here and looked at all these tracks so you can see how many are in here it's insane so i wrote it down in my notes 127 tracks and 138 plugins and if you look at the usage it's 42 percent of the computer 50 percent of the ram so that means that i could i could run 200 and something tracks on this now we had a session where we were doing some gang vocals for them and we had this many tracks and we hit record and there was no latency um there was no skip in the audio there was no slower stuff going on there was no beach ball wheel going around it blew my mind. I t told my uncle the other day, which he was the original Mac guy, like literally the original Mac guy. He has like the little Mac with the floppy in the front. And, and he was the guy that was using Mac computers before they were computers that people used. It was like really expensive and graphic design and when he did it. But when I incorporated this Mac mini, I thought there's gotta be a catch. Like, is it going to get slow at this? Is it going to have problems with this? Is the rendering going to be bad? So I'm going to go through and put some more plugins on this thing and just mess around with it. And I'm not going to save this session. So if Anthony, the, the gentleman that's working, he's shout out to him. He's doing most of the mix on this. Um, I'm not going to save this session so he doesn't have to worry about that. But I'm going to go through and I'm going to put on... I mean, let's be fair, okay? I don't want to explode the computer. Let's put on something that would actually happen, like an EQ or something. Because, let's face the facts, guys. I mean, you're going to put on 400 Acoustica plugins with a bunch of multi bands. It's probably going to crash. But let's see what happens here. So I'm going to put these across. Holy crap. Did you see how fast I did that? I mean, it just put an EQ on every single track in the session like that dude blown away with this m2 just blown away if you're even out there considering stop my video right now and go purchase it for the price it's at um i could not believe this let's see what the usage is it's still the same usage let's hit play plays fine it's right here i just don't want to play the song let's absolutely blown away dude this is unbelievable. Another cool feature as I'm in this video talking about the Mac Mini, 
how do you upgrade these things because they are only 256 gigabytes so i'm gonna make the light a little bit and bring the camera in and show you this but on amazon for 84 let me turn this light on give me a second there guys so for 84 bucks i bought this let me pull it off the tripod and we'll just end the video and i'll just say just buy it so that little thing here was $84 and it's got three USB-C. Those are USB 3.0 in the front and it has a chassis enclosure and I could put the link to it. But as you can see here, so to get a little bit more hard drive, um, we have this one here, which is the SanDisk Plus, Freddy's Fun Drive, shout out to Freddy DeMarco. But that one is cased in here and it's, I mean, it's a SATA drive, SATA, SATA, whatever you want to call it. It's extremely fast, solid state drive. So I have a Mac Mini M2 with 8 gigs of RAM, 256 gigabyte hard drive. And let's go around here. Sorry if it's a little dirty there, guys. But if you look here, we have a USB 3.0. It's running all those. So we have... Let me see if I can get in there. I know it's a little, but we have two. So one of the USB C's is feeding this below it. The other USB C is feeding this. So with all that going on, you have my interfaces, which are two mastering converters, and they're running fine. And then you have an Ethernet port running another cool feature that I'll talk about before we get off the video. So you get a lot of bonus on this video. So with all that being said, I also have, and I haven't checked it though, but we'll do another video on this because this is about getting a system that works. You know what I mean? So let's get this thing to zoom back in. Cool. So last thing, and I know this is sort of, I'm just doing this like off the hip. I told you. Um, so with this, I wanted to be able and when you guys upgrade computers, this is always a problem with me. There was some stuff I had to spend money on to do the upgrade. The, and I was so concerned and I'm always so scared because I might be working on a session. And I was talking to, to one of my friends that has the same thing going on. He doesn't ever want to upgrade because this is broke, that is broke. I mean, you spend a lot of time upgrading. So there's this software and we'll do a video on this next. This was more about the M2 and should you buy it? I'm a resounding yes. Now, if you're getting into bigger, bigger, bigger sessions with like Final Cut, video, editing, you might want to get the 16 gig, but this is more than enough machine. It's, it's probably the best Mac I've ever used, and I've been using these for years. Like I said, I had a 12-core Mac, and it actually performs better than that, which is sort of crazy, actually. So, I have this program... It's called um, Audio Gritter. And if you haven't seen this, look it up. So we're utilizing my old Mac with all the plugins and everything. And I'm utilizing it so I can offload some of the bigger plugins, like my Acoustica plugins. And, you know, some of these big, massive plugins. Well, that thing's got 64 gigs of RAM, 12-core computer, awesome solid-state drives. I mean, it's a laid-out computer that we spent a lot of money on. So I can go into this session here. I can click on audio gritter. Now watch it explode the thing because I'm still getting it to work. But you go in, it sees the actual computer. And then you just go in and you, and you assign what plugin. Now, oh yeah, that's right. I turned off that computer. That computer upstairs has got to be on. But it's really cool. So it's an, it's an interface between two computers, Ethernet. And you can use your old plugins, your old VSTs, you know, maybe VSTs in Pro Tools that you couldn't use. Um, you can use just older plugin formats, AUs, audio units that may not work with Pro Tools. And you can actually incorporate those. And then you're pretty much creating a DSP server out of your computer. So we'll go through that on the next video. Um, sorry for the space between my videos. I just had to get this video out there because I bought this M2 on a, on a whim. They're like MSRP $599 for the base model. 
Um, I'm telling you right now, if you have any problems in your studio with a computer and you're just saying, man, I need to get a new computer, you will be super happy. So my name is Doug Jenkins, imixandmaster.com. If you need mixing, mastering, if you need help with these things, uh, hit us up and we'll see you next time. Peace.